We are seeing movement in gold this Tuesday ahead of tomorrow's FOMC minutes release. Frank Holm joins us on Kiko's Tuesday Gold Report to tell us if he thinks people should still hold on to gold. Frank, thanks for being with us. Good, good morning from sunny San Antonio. And yes, they should always keep their gold. 5% in bullion and 5% in gold stocks. Well, gold is weaker this Tuesday, but still has safe haven appeal due to worries about China and Europe. How do you see gold uh, set up here ahead of tomorrow's FOMC minutes release? Uh, you know, you already mentioned it, but you know, why and uh, how should investors hold on to their gold? Well, they should uh, definitely be buying gold because we're seeing record consumption of bullion, which we reported on your program. And it's just important to recognize it continues. And what I think is interesting is the love trade out of China is being impacted by the Shanghai stock market. There's no doubt. However, the Chinese government is now reporting monthly their consumption of gold. And in the month of July, they, they purchased 54 million ounces. So I think that that's very significant in their March to become a currency that's sponsored and supported by IMF for special drawing rights. Well, Frank, let's talk about that overnight plunge uh, in the Chinese stock market, which continues to pressure commodities, but is helping gold. Do you see the stock weakness continuing and offering support for gold prices? Well, I don't really tie those together. You know, I, I really am looking at two different factors for what's going to drive gold. And I think the other key factor coming up is Indian uh, festivals. There's going to be several wedding seasons and there's going to be seasonal flights. Uh, I think that's going to be pent up demand because gold is cheaper. And that's what we're seeing in the U.S. is a gold plunges. The, the hardcore gold buyer buying the physical gold has picked up the trade. Well, which leads me to my next question. We are nearing a seasonal window of strength for gold as fall approaches. But with rate hikes looming, do you expect more subdued strength for the metal this year? Yes, I think you're going to be stuck between this trading range of thirteen fifty and $1,000. That's where you're going to bang around over the next uh, six months. But what's interesting, a lot of compelling research is that the, the idea that rates are going to rise, and it's all, it's all pretty priced in. So after the rates do rise, it's a non-event for gold. Now, if rates were to continue to go up two to 75 basis points, uh, then that would have a negative impact for gold. All right, Frank, finally, I think I know what you're going to say, but what's your touchdown pass for gold this week? Well, we have PMI on Friday, and we have CPI this week, and we have the uh, FOMC minutes, and I think that that's the touchdown pass away because all the quants and using their models are going to be focused on words in, that, in those particular minutes, and they will trade in a second on them. Thank you so much, Frank. We'll see you next week. Happy investing. And thanks for watching Kiko's Gold Report. Join us tomorrow with Peter Hug ahead of the FOMC.